The link down below has been replaced, but I still urge you to head to the link below, educate yourself, and consider supporting Ukraine financially. All the sources down there have been vetted. Your money will go to the right place. the first time we came here. Why are we here oh, now? Paimon remembers. Nahida's consciousness had been trapped by the doctor, but we followed the clues uh -huh. she left behind to help her. Yes. Consciousness? Wait. Okay. Hold on. Sumeru was a very, very weird quest line. I'm still kind of confused with what was going on there. Basically, Nahida... Little kid who can read people's minds. Everybody hated her and wanted to go with the other god. One thing led to another, and then that other god erased themselves from existence. Every single bit about her has been erased from the game. They even renamed all the statues! So much time has already passed since then. And it seems Sumeru's changing for the better now that Nahida's in charge, right? Is it though? Kaiman just hopes this peace will last a long time. And then Nahida won't have any more new problems to deal with. Paimon, nothing has changed here. Absolutely nothing has changed. Yeah, guess you're right. Hmm. We somehow always find ourselves right in the thick of it. Who knows what will happen next? Uh, that's because we throw ourselves at problems. Maybe you're just a magnet for trouble. No, I look for trouble. Huh? Me? Before Paimon ran into you, Paimon never ran into any trouble. At most, when she was super tired, Paimon got caught in some strange whirlpool and sucked out into sea. And even then, you fished Paimon out! That was the beginning of the game. Uh, anyway, for Nahida's sake, maybe we should think about heading to our next destination for now. It's Fontaine, isn't it? Isn't that why we're here? I assumed we were about to go on an odyssey across the desert. Ah, look who it is. Running into you in a place like this? I can see you two still love wandering around. Why are you here? Oh, it's Dia! Hmm. Since when are we just wandering around? We're usually taking care of some serious business. Even though it may have nothing to do with our journey. You don't have to but sound like a jerk. That. What brings you here? <laughs> I just finished a commission in the desert for a usual client of mine. Nothing too interesting. Just escorting a shipment of goods. I'm on my way to report back. So those cat ears That's when are... I saw you two all the way over there. Chatting away. What were you two talking about, anyway? There are cat people. This cat person on the thumbnail. Huh? What do you, you want? serious? <laughs> Can't say I saw that coming. Hmm, but you are travelers, after all. I guess you'd never stay for too long in one place. Bumping into you like this will become a rarity. Ah, I'm starting to feel sad just thinking about it. I'll relax, I'll be back. I barely hey, touched this region. How about I gather a few mercs to escort you two? What do you say? Trust me, I don't need yes, that. But no need. Oh, Paimon had no clue you'd miss us so much. But don't worry, we'll come back to see everyone when we get a chance. We don't need an army. <laughs> Sounds good. We have a clue. All you need to do to get to Fontaine is cross this stretch of desert and navigate some waterways. Knowing you two, I'm sure it won't be anything you can't handle. So, uh, when are you leaving? Uh, right now? Oh, wait a sec. Paimon just remembered there are still a few dishes in Sumeru that Paimon hasn't tried yet. Now, where's that list Paimon made? Oh my god! Mm. I see. What do you yes, want? You won't what? be needing a going away party or anything. What does he know that we don't? It's sad enough to see you go like this. Though, now that I think about it, Sumeru wouldn't be what it is today without you. Seems true heroes always prefer leaving quietly. <laughs> by the way, should we go say bye to Nahida? Uh, 
she'll know from her dreams anyway, trust me. Oh, good point. Then there's no need to bother her in the real world. <clears throat> then I guess this is goodbye for now, Traveler and Paimon. Whether as a client or a friend, you're always welcome to come find me. I never know where you are. Goodbye, dear. Bye bye, Sumeru. And good riddance. It's a nightmare to navigate this place. Way too vertical. Did you just do all the walking for me? I could have done that. It is taking a very long while to load. Where the hell are we? There's those sand physics. <laughs> Well, that's a tone shift. Wow! Was not expecting that. <laughs> Can I actually sit? Okay, yeah, no, that's there. That is actually there. Oh, Christ. You see this in anime sometimes, the giant waterfall that splits the world in half. Holy crap. We're gonna need the boat. Or something. There's a boat summon over there. There are... a few boats around, actually. Huh. Is that a chest? Hang on. Oh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Huh? friendly <laughs> uh hi it's a friendly turtle oops I just tried to kill it <gasps> crab got it <gasps> crab 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 damn it Alright, please summon the boat. Good old boat. Boat, 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 boat. Where did I get this boat? I don't remember. I think that was Genshin Island Adventure 1. I think that's a paddle wheel boat. Huh. Well, clearly there's been a technological leap. I don't suppose... This is a boat elevator? Perhaps? Can it take my boat all the way up? There's a tiny... Cat... Winged cat person? What? Why is there a cat with wings? Hold on. <laughs> One more story to add to my collection. Wait, what are you? What the fuck? Okay. This might be a good region. <laughs> Finally, we're getting into the non-humans. Jeez, it took us long enough. Okay, so... 
How do we get her through the lock? Well, whatever this is. I think the Statue of the Seven is all the way up top. into the steampunk, aren't we? Oh. Just seeing the sights as a tourist is nice, but maybe it would be better if we found something to do. What do you think? Let's blow everything up. Good idea. <laughs> loads of useful information. Let's find some truth. <laughs> For information at this point. <laughs> Let's head up the elevator and see what kind of trouble we can get into. <laughs> yeah, the more we can learn, the better. So, what do you think the Hydro Archon's like? Will we get along? Nahira said that she has a very unique personality, whatever that means. To learn about a nation's god, start with the nation's people. Uh -huh. There seems to be some locals talking over there. Let's go see if we can join the party. It's not really a party if it's two people. <laughs> if you ask me, it's a tragedy how things ended for him. Clearly, he was a pretty decent person. Yeah, I didn't expect that kind of ending for him. I thought he would at least fight on a little longer for his family. Yeah, can you believe it? I was expecting it? a sudden plot twist, but it's a pity that it never happened. Still, his story is quite the tearjerker. Yeah, I can't believe he got thrown 50 feet through the air and then had 20 tons of 50 gallon drums falling on top of him and stuff. Like, wow. Can't believe it. <laughs> Who are we talking about? Uh, excuse me. Can I help you too? I couldn't help but notice you standing here listening. Uh, hi. <laughs> We're travelers new to Fontaine, and we had something we wanted to ask, but you seem to be really busy talking about some kind of play, so we didn't want to interrupt. A <laughs> uh, play? Oh, no, no, no. We're talking about something that really happened. In fact, it's a case that was just heard a few days ago. Oh. Really? Like... A real trial? But the way you were talking about it and the words you used just now made it sound like some kind of story. Well, good tales are often based on true stories, aren't they? And what you see in reality may also be someone deliberately putting on an act while harboring ulterior motives. So someone actually died. Whether something died. is true or not simply isn't that important. The main thing is whether the story being acted out on the stage is splendid enough. Oh, but it looks like you're not from around here. You probably don't know that the Fontaine Court of Justice is called the Opera Epicles, or more commonly known as just the Opera House. So it's an opera court? Are we gonna co Is the jury gonna choir sing the verdict? But, uh, shouldn't court cases be treated a little more seriously than that? Not to question Fontaine's way of doing things, it's just that Putting someone on trial is usually a very serious thing. Unless they make it a silly thing. <laughs> no worries. Other visitors to Fontaine have wondered the same thing. You could say that we just don't want to waste the moving stories behind those cases. And as for your worries about whether the cases are treated with due reverence, we have the absolutely just and honorable Chief Justice Nouvellette, as well as the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, a machine created by the Archon. Oh my God. Between God. the machine and the Chief Justice, false charges and injustice are a thing of the past now. What is this? French? That's... Oh, God, it's a nation... It's a nation of Frenchies. Pure trees? Is it some kind of machine, too? Oh, Paimon's curious. We should check it out if we get the chance. Wait. Paimon almost forgot to ask you our question. Um... Do you know what we should do if we want to meet the Hydro Archon? Oh, that's easy. Just go to the Opera House. 
Lady Farina practically lives there. You could definitely say it's her biggest passion. Yeah. Uh -huh. Simple enough. I think what they mean is that they wish to speak with the Archon personally. In that case, I'm afraid it's going to be a tad more difficult. You'll have to make an appointment well in advance, and it'll depend on whether or not she has any time slots available. It... You know what? That's absolutely fair. Huh. Is the Hydro Archon super busy taking care of official stuff? Wait, didn't you say that she's always at the Opera House? No, no. Lady Farina seldom takes an interest with the nation's affairs. The reason it's difficult to make an appointment is simply because she's incredibly popular. Okay. That's right. After all, she is the Archon. Though she may tend to get a little dramatic from time to time, people can't get enough of her. Huh. First time Paimon's ever heard of an Archon being described that way before. <gasps> Wait! Paimon gets it now! The Hydro Archon is kind of like a big celebrity here, right? Yeah, I suppose you could say that. <laughs> Perhaps you could even say our mascot. Hang on. Like Paimon. This is still Fontaine's Archon you're talking about. You should show some more respect. Yes, you're right. I guess I should at least try to be a little more respectful in front of visitors. Otherwise, I might get arrested and find myself face to face with Monsieur Nouvellet. <laughs> Come on. Sure, there's a lot of laws here, but nobody's going to be arrested for saying something disrespectful about the Hydro Archon. Is this one of those nations that has 10 million laws? Like, no jaywalking? Am I gonna get pulled aside for jaywalking? Alright! I think we get it. Thank you! At least we now know that we can find the Hydro Archon at the Opera House. We'll have to break in. But Look at those, that look in her eyes, she's already getting ideas. Uh, guess we could have a look around the city in the meantime. Hey, what are you looking over there for? There's a girl over there? Huh, maybe something's the matter. <gasps> she's isn't going to jump into the water, is she? Uh, maybe we better go check on her. Water's not that deep, it's probably fine. Also, that waterfall should be super loud in our ears right now. This is not a small waterfall. This is Niagara Falls sized. Like, oh my god. things actually but there's nothing i can do but just keep my troubles to myself socioeconomic disparity that place my brother and i would play when we were kids it was just atop that hill over there see no uh you're pointing at the sea <laughs> wait are you saying that you and your brother lived in the water maybe they're merfolk no people call the waters around Fontaine a sea. It's actually just an inland lake that's filled with fresh water. And no, I can still see that hill clearly in my memories. Now, it's been completely submerged. He would skip and jump, tossing sand <clears throat> in the wind. The sun shone brightly, and the air was filled with the scent of the sea. But now, the water is gradually swallowing our memories. Rising sea levels. It won't be long before it swallows us. Uh, sorry. Paimon doesn't really get what you mean. It means global warming. Uh, I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. Are you Lynette's new friends? Oh, and you are? Thanks for looking after my sister. She often comes here to reminisce about our childhood, that's all. There's no need for any concern. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Linny, and this is my sister Lynette. 
If I had to guess, I'd say you must be travelers from abroad. And I'd say you're the gayest dressed man I've ever seen. So, how are you related to a cat girl? Nice to meet you! Paimon is Paimon, and this is a traveler! We just arrived in Fontaine! That's not fair, he's not the gayest dressed man I've ever seen. But that is some getup. We were just talking with your sister. Uh, even though we didn't really get what she was saying. Hmm, I see. It's unusual for Lynette to be so willing to talk with anyone. In fact, she seldom speaks at all. I'm usually the only one she ever talks to. Oh, really? Then you two are just like us! Paimon's always the one talking <coughs> for some reason. Yeah, why won't you let me speak? <laughs> Anything left for me to say because you will. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> so that's how you think it is? Yes. I also think my brother can be too talkative at times. Paimon doesn't shut oh. up. <laughs> Seems you were right, Paimon. We are quite similar. Now, when she said that the water is engulfing your memories, and that it won't be long before it engulfs you, too. Oh, that. It's from a prophecy that's been circulating in Fontaine for some time now. Well, I suppose prophecy isn't exactly the right word, because that implies a certain amount of uncertainty. There's no doubt about what's happening in Fontaine now. I thought the prophecy was supposed to bring certainty. Isn't that, like, half the point? Where to begin? Hmm... Let's put that question on hold for a moment. We still haven't formally greeted each other yet, have we? Uh, did all the introductions earlier not count? It's about to say... Hello, Traveler. And hello, Paimon. Is this hey! like a... Why didn't Paimon get a handshake? You're not poking fun at Paimon, are you? Is this like a formality? <laughs> or... Please, don't take offense. Just consider it a sort of etiquette we have here in Fontaine when making new friends. You should remember it. It might prove useful. So it is oh. a... All right, then. Well, Paimon's just happy to have a local friend now. By the way, we were so just is a local to go to the house to meet the Hydro Archon. Would you be able to show us the way? <clears throat> oh, so you're going to see Lady Farina? No problem at all. In fact, I was planning to go to the Opera House later myself. I'll gladly take you once I finish things here. Great, can we please finally go, please? Me. <sighs> Finally. So I don't get to take the boat up there? Alright. Well, I was about to start healing Klee back up. Uh, you said you were going to see Lady Farina? Well, it seems Lady Farina has come to see you. Wait, she has? So this is the Hydro Archon? Oh, wait, no. She's probably- that last one's probably just the all-powerful bitch that we're gonna have to deal with. Huh. So, she's the Hydro Archon? But, how did she know we were looking for her? My dear people, rich and poor, those with cup in hand, and those with nothing at all. Oh my Raise god, your that's a cowlick. celebration. If you don't have one, then just raise your hand and leave. That is a cowlick. Wow. As you can all see, two unfamiliar travelers have arrived in our nation. She's actually Come, here for us? let us make a toast in honor of this traveler and her companion, who have journeyed here from distant lands. 
It wasn't that far away. It was like the next nation over. It wasn't that... Not that far. Uh, is she talking about us? How do you I've long with that? heard of the turmoil and chaos you left in your wake as you visited other nations, but I welcome you nevertheless. No, I have come to receive you personally. Fear is for insignificant cowards. I am a god, and I will never entertain the notion of such meaningless wariness. You can be rest assured. I see clearly your sincerity. Of course, your eyes look seeking weird. an audience with me is the most sensible thing to do. It will allow you to truly behold my power and witness my authority. Intelligent people always gather under the <laughs> correct banner. I hate her already. Uh, Fosalor, hereby welcome you to the nation of Hydro and acknowledge the value and significance of your trip now you may rejoice in this can I go now like oh my god yeah Paimon still can't believe it feels like we've only been here for a few minutes but the Hydro Archon's entrance was uh how should Paimon describe it a little over the top a little <laughs> Because we leave a trail of destruction in our wake. Uh, I see. As outlanders, you inevitably lack even some of the most basic understanding. Don't forget that even the gods can be divided into the mediocre and the excellent. I suppose it's only natural for you to be awestruck by my abilities. I'm gonna kill you her. You had best stop and consider. Do you really have the noble qualities and etiquette necessary to communicate with a god? All it takes is a flick of my finger for me to know everything about you. You damn Whoa. bourgeois. Talk about sounding high and mighty. Oh yeah, no kidding. I hate her already. When do we kill her? This better not be one of those animes where they just stick around forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And ever. And we never get to kill them. <laughs> oh? What's with these looks? Perhaps the welcoming ceremony still isn't enough? Hmm. What else should I say then? So you're sorry. Uh... Is she waiting for us to start talking? Wow, I didn't expect to see Lady Farina here. What a surprise! Wait. Does this mean they're the legendary blonde traveler? How did I not notice before? I'm legendary? Hey, what's all the commotion? Oh, is that Lady Farina? Is there some kind of drama going on? Of course. That's the blonde traveler. The one all those stories are about. Lady Farina came here to personally see her. Oh, I bet this is going to be the duel of the century. Stories. Oh, boy. Sounds like they sounds like they used our likenesses. Can we sue? Oh, I've got to see this. I knew Lady Farina would never disappoint. We should sue. <laughs> yes, but don't get too excited now. My dear believers and spectators alike tend to get quite rowdy, and despite the noise, I've come to tolerate all their ruckus. You have a cow like the size of a fucking. You may consider this my reward to all of you. I have determined that there will be an epic duel between myself and this traveler from another land, just as you were hoping to see. Wait, we're gonna fight uh, now? I... Now she wants t to fight? Aren't we getting a little ahead of ourselves? Fighting gods, I've got a resume. <laughs> Afraid? Might I remind you that this is a duel against the divine? 
What else is new? What are you trying to do, Traveler? Provoking a god in front of her people? <clears throat> Stand down, Clorand. I admire her bravery. Few have the courage to draw their sword against a god. She is obviously a true warrior. Are you gonna shut up and fight me? <laughs> Unfortunately, people nowadays only crave to be thrilled, and a mere duel will not slake their thirst for excitement. Yes, it will. Huh. Yeah, she's right. Just a duel wouldn't be all that interesting. What the fuck? Don't agree with her. Huh? Criminals are always requesting duels to defend their honor. I'm getting a bit old to tell the truth. You see, then as the god of justice, I shall face this traveler in another kind of duel. A duel in court! Wait, so now you're, t so now you're suing me. On what grounds? All right! Now that'll be worth seeing! Wait, what? Right. This is Fontaine, after all. With such a grand opera house, it would be a pity not to use it. I don't what? understand. What? You hear so much about the crowd's reactions! Seems you've spent a little too much time in the opera house. Besides, how exactly do you plan to have a duel in court? You mean you're going to put us on trial? We haven't even done any crime yet. Yet. <laughs> oh, we have reason to put you on trial. It's obvious, isn't it? Is it because I'm fabulous? I swear to God, if it's because I'm fabulous. According to Fontaine Law, no one is permitted to release any flying objects within Fontaine city limits during the first three days of each month. You are clearly guilty of violating this law, no? Are you fucking ki- This is one of those stupid nations that have a million laws for every tiny goddamn thing under the sun. I fucking knew it. They have all these stupid laws like no one may peel an apple on the second Tuesday of every month between the hours of 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. Because of that one thing that happened. Oh, so that's what they've done wrong. Uh, that's our Lady Farina. No one knows the laws of Fontaine like she does. Unfortunately, I did not release you a flying object. Obvious? What kind of law is that? Wait, flying object? <gasps> you mean Paimon? Technically, I did not release Paimon. She kind of floated over here on her own. Your arrest. I'm already going My to jail. Apologies, Lady Farina. I don't mean to spoil the fun, but if you would allow me to interject, I don't think that Paimon here meets the definition of a flying object. Well, like a flying person. Killer, Winnie. Finally, someone who's not crazy. How could anyone call Paimon a flying object? Did Lenny just become my legal defense? Ah, great magician, Lenny. My beloved citizen, I'll permit you to object, but how exactly do you plan to prove your claim? Well, Paimon's not an object. <laughs> As a magician who just rained on your parade, I naturally should shoulder the responsibility of saving the show. What? So, with such an audience gathered here, allow me to perform a trick for everyone. Is it, a, is it our disappearing act? What the hell? What what did you do? What? What's that on Paimon's back? Hey, when did you do that? Did we just put you on a leash? This smarmy motherfucker. I will kill him. There. As you can all clearly see, Paimon should be classified as, well, something like a balloon. This rope has been in the Traveler's hand all along. It was just that no one could see it before. Huh? <laughs> you call that magic? <laughs> You've got to be joking. So, wait, are we killing him or not? <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. 
Nice one. I just want to kill uh, something. I'm not sure what to think. It seems Lady Farina's charges no longer hold water. Get it? Hydro Nation. Water. <laughs> Sort of unexpected twist that I enjoy. With you here, today's performance can finally be called complete. Wait, so I'm free to go? Performance? You see all this as a performance? In which case, consider the matter of your trial resolved. The god of justice will not bring charges against an innocent person. But when there are valid grounds, I will not only judge travelers from abroad, but even the gods of other lands. <laughs> I hate you. I look forward to seeing your upcoming performance at the Opera House, Mr. Linny and Miss Lynette. That's enough for now. Toodaloo! Don't you toodaloo me. Get your smarmy ass back down here. I'll fucking kill you. Calling it, she's the final boss. And just like that, she's gone! Well, that's the most unpredictable <coughs> Archon Paimon's ever seen. We never even had a chance to ask her anything. But that's a problem for future Paimon. That whole scene just now was really... <sighs> Oh, this is going to be a terrible nation, isn't it? Don't mention it. I just happened to remember that there was such a law, so I did a little preparation, just in case. I didn't think it would actually come in handy. So why do you have so, that law? Now do you see what kind of god Lady Farina is? Yeah, She can a be bitch. a bit confusing at times, but she is still amenable to reason. No, she's not. She's a bitch. We're gonna tear this nation down to the ground. Anyway, Paimon had no idea you were a magician, Linny. It sounded like you'll be performing at the Opera House, right? You had no idea. <laughs> Look at how he's fucking dressed. Simple tricks I use to make a living. Lynette is my assistant. It will actually be my first time performing on the most prestigious stage in Fontaine, the Opera House. But isn't the Opera House where criminal trials are held in Fontaine? When there are no public trials being held, the Opera House hosts a variety of other performances. To the people of Fontaine, the line between a trial and a performance can be a little blurred. It's all very confusing. And speaking of performances, I would be remiss to forego this opportunity gifted by fate. Might I invite the two of you to see my performance? If it's not boring. My brother's always excited to make new friends. This game has oh, longer sure. cutscenes sure, than Metal Gear now. Solid. We to go to the opera house anyway. Jesus Christ, how long have we been in this conversation? Splendid. In that case, why don't we go together? I'll show you the way. I just have something to take care of first. <sighs> Fine. Oh, you really mean it? Then I'll take you up on your offer. This is a magical item known as a magic pocket. Perhaps you can help me distribute them to the people here. This is a bag of holding. Huh? What are they going to use it for? About that... Hmm. You asked me before about the prophecy, right? Let me start by telling you a little more about what it entails. Oh my god! I'm not sure exactly when it began, but a prophecy has been circulating around Fontaine. Wait, this might be it our setup. It says that every person in Fontaine is born with sin. No matter how the Nation of Justice holds trial after trial, this sin cannot be absolved. Okay. Until one day, the water levels in Fontaine will rise, and the sinful people will slowly be drowned. That's harsh. In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. Well, she deserves it. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. Well, that's dumb. That sounds pretty gloomy. 
Why are people in Fontaine born with sin? What is that supposed to mean? They know what they did. <laughs> there are lots of guesses. Some say that the ancestors of Fontaine stole the power of the seas and stirred its wrath. Others say that the people of Fontaine never heeded the first Hydro Archon's warnings and offended Celestia. But here in Fontaine, evidence is what matters. There hasn't been concrete evidence for any of these claims, so they can only be regarded as conjecture. Are we like if right even under the people Celestia in right now? Don't know what sin they committed. Wouldn't it be better just to ignore the prophecy completely? Why bother feeling guilty all the time? That's exactly what the people did at first. But in the last few years, the water levels in Fontaine have actually started rising. Uh huh, that's the rising sea levels. Hmm. Many places have already been completely submerged and now lie beneath the sea. Many people carry on with their lives as before and shrug it off as a natural phenomenon. But my family and I think that the people of Fontaine shouldn't ignore the possibility, which would end up sentencing them to death. We hope that at least the people who reside near the waterfront can move away before it's too late. So, we've started distributing magic pockets to them. Oh my god, you're like one of those people that's like, Oh, just sell your homes to leave. Just sell your homes and leave. Just one small problem. Sell the houses to who, Lenny? Fucking Aquaman? As a magical item, these magic pockets have astonishing capacity. I'm sure they will come in handy when people are moving their belongings. It's literally a bag oh, of holding. Hyman gets it. It's like preparing for a rainy day. But this is more than a bit of rain. I totally called it on that, uh, on that bag of holding thing. Hmm. Perhaps only absolute power could ever contend with such a catastrophe. <laughs> but who knows? We're just tiny specks in the grand scheme of things. Now, if you'd like to help, then please give these magic pockets to anyone nearby. Be sure to convince them to take it, regardless of what they say. Great. Can I go now? Oh, thank God they're letting me go. <gasps> Wait. You're telling me I can't leave the dock still? Ah, fuck! We've been on this thing the whole video!